I'm delighted to be here today. <clears throat> Thank you all so much for coming. It is a great occasion for all of us here at the Met. Before I begin, I would like to thank Mr. Tom Kalaris, Chief Executive Officer of Barclays Wealth, for being our first supporter. But today I want to, to share a story with you. How many of you recognize who this is? This is my beloved uncle, Nico Kulandris, and me. <laughs> the museum has always been part of our family life, giving us feelings of Greek pride. And one day, six years ago, my aunt Dolly came to me and asked me, Sandra, would you like to sit by me and learn what I have to teach you? I was honored and challenged. And guess what? She gave me a small desk right inside her office. No, she had no secrets. If I were to be her successor, I had to be present every single moment of her day, in all her meetings, at every decision aware of every little detail of managing the museum affairs. The reason I wanted to share this story with you is because somehow it is a connection between the past and the future. But let's not look back. Let's look ahead. Let's look at the future. We are here tonight, and some of you may be wondering what we are doing. In addition to presenting the lecture series, I want to share with you our vision. And I want you to meet a very good friend who couldn't be with us tonight. Hi, I'm Jim Giannopoulos. No matter what area of human endeavor you look at, or what part of the world you look in, you'll always find a few Greeks. They're influential people, shaping things, making a dent in the world, and how it feels and how it thinks. It's no wonder because we come from a rich culture and tradition. Yet the glory of Greece, so many know recently, has been the poster child of the economic crisis, the bad kid in the European community. But we all know that's not the real Greece. It's a transitional moment in a long and glorious history. And there's no greater symbol of that wonderful past than the Museum of Kiklavic Art. It's like a beacon born out of the beautiful blue waters of the ancient Aegean. It's a remarkable collection of art, reveals an amazing civilization that flourished in the most beautiful part of the world, the Kiklavic Islands. It's also a bold reminder of the strength of our culture and the depth of our roots. The Kiklavic Museum, led by Sandra Marinopoulos, is on a mission to share with the world the remarkable treasures of this wonderful civilization. These are treasures created long before the birth of the classical Greek civilization the world now knows so well. The preservation of its treasures is a reflection of the eternal beauty of Greece, and its art is inspired by the cultural legacy of Kiklavic civilization. Kiklavic art is a reminder of all that we love about Greece, and it offers inspiration for all, inspiring thought and joy and beauty and humanity, optimism, expressiveness, and above all, purity. As a Greek of the diaspora and as a lover of the arts and 
someone involved in the visual arts, I hope you'll take the opportunity to connect to this vision, connect to our past, and be part of a glorious legacy. I know we'll all be enriched by the great work of the Giglavik Museum. For ourselves, for our children, for the entire world, Giglavik art is pure inspiration out of the blue. Out of the blue. What on earth am I talking about? Out of the blue? You must be wondering. Is this sudden? A surprising element? Let me tell you what I mean. We at the museum, along with some friends who love its art and culture, thought long and hard about how to articulate what the museum is all about. What we visualized was a picture, an image that would make you feel, see, touch the Greek elements of the museum. So blue was the first element that came to mind. Because it represents Greece, because of the Cycladic civilization, born around the water, in the Aegean, on these beautiful blue islands, with the Cycladic idol emerging. Out of the blue, out of the Aegean, to show us it is beyond time. We need to create a sense of pride in Greece of today. Beyond borders, we need to create a strong bond among the Greece of their diaspora, philelines, and art lovers. We need to rebuild a sense of integrity and honor. These mysterious idols were brought to light by Dolly. And we want to show that Cycladic purity not only has been, but still is part of the Greek identity. I want to stress that I'm not here to fundraise. I am here to friend raise. I want you to become our allies, our friends, our ambassadors. Our museum is a private but independent institution without ever requiring state funding, without the bureaucracy, but with the flexibility of a private institution, we can create spectacular exhibitions and bring them to the United States and to the rest of the world, exporting our culture and making us all proud of it. But we need friends, ambassadors, to make this happen. 
My vision is that this idea of purity, this unbelievable cycladic collection, should travel and serve as the showcase of what true Greece is. Purity, hard work, innovation. This is the Greece we want to show through our collection, through our joint effort. Here is where you come in. We invite you to bring your families to Greece. We want our museum to be your home away from home. Greece to all of us is bigger than its physical borders. Greece should be respected for all it has given and for all it will give to the world. Together, let us shape its cultural future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sandra and Nico. And uh, I would like to uh, invite you now to go upstairs to the Shelby One Leon Levy Roman Court and uh, meet our friends and, and uh, guests and have a refreshment and some food. Thank you very much again for coming. Thank you.